Hey there, RecTech family, Chef Greg here with you. Today we're doing a reverse sear on some London broil. Um, I bought this at the grocery store, it's about three pounds. So a lot of people say, what is London broil? It's actually a steak cut from the top round. So if you've got the big uh, top round um, and you wanna butcher your own steaks, again, they're about two inches thick. This one weighs um, just shy of three pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and get this marinated. I've got a tablespoon of chopped garlic. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of olive oil. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. You can also do this in a Ziploc bag. We're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And you take a brush, kind of pour it over. And again, if you do this in a bag, it kind of goes everywhere. Um, put it in the fridge for about 24 hours. Okay. And then what we'll do is I've got some brisket rub here as well. And we will let this go for 24 hours. You want to be pretty liberal. Uh, London broil can be sort of a pretty f neutral cut of meat, so it can stand up to a good bit of seasoning. And since it's fairly lean as it's from the round, um, it really stands up to some good smoking, uh, picks up some great flavors. So we're going to reverse sear this. We're going to let this uh, marinate for about 24 hours. Uh, 12 hours if you can. If you're crunched for time, again, it's great for 30 minutes to an hour, but you really get some good flavor penetration after uh, a full 24 hours in the fridge. So we'll put this to bed, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so our London broil is good and marinated. We're going to use the Maverick today to make sure our internal temps are right where we want to be. So what we want to do is we'll take the probe and we'll stick it um, kind of in the, the thickest part of the meat, right in the middle. Like I said, this is about uh, two and a half inches thick. We'll go right to the middle here. Our internal temp, you'll see that drop down um, to probably be at, this has been sitting out for about a half an hour now. So it's uh, probably just shy of room temp. This transmitter will read up to 300 feet. So it's a great way for you to keep an eye on what's going on, uh, your RT680 from poolside, inside the house watching the game. Again, 300 feet does a great job. We've got RT680 preheated to 225 degrees. We'll let this go for uh, probably about 90 minutes, but we'll be looking for an internal of 125 degrees, which is uh, on the rare side. And then um, what we'll do is we'll take it off, let it rest, crank that heat up, and sear it off. So let's get it on the heat. All right, our London broil went for about an hour and 20 minutes. Our Maverick let us know our internal was at 125 degrees. It's exactly what we were shooting for. Uh, so what we're gonna do is right now, we're gonna turn the RT680 up to 500. We've got two sear kits uh, preheating. We'll let this rest for about 20 minutes. That'll be about the time it'll take for the grill to get to that temp. Um, don't worry about doming or covering this. Just let it sit on the counter. All those juices will kind of relax and we'll give it a good hard sear in just a few minutes. All right, our London broil seared for about three minutes aside. We did flip it over halfway. Um, it's a, got a beautiful crust and char in there. That balsamic vinegar really caramelized nice. We're gonna let this rest for about five, uh, six minutes. We let it rest earlier, but again, since we did that hard sear on it with that sear kit, we wanna let it rest for just a few minutes before we carve it. Um, we don't want those juices to run out, but it looks beautiful. Now to remember with the, uh, the London broil, it is, uh, from the top round. So when we slice it, we're gonna slice uh, nice, even, thin slices coming across this way, okay? So sometimes if you need to make a reference of when it's raw, looking that grain, again, we always wanna cut across that grain. Um, otherwise, we'll end up with, a, with a, a drier piece of meat. So let's go ahead and bring this up here, and this smells fantastic with that garlic and that balsamic vinegar. So again, really nice, sharp knife, nice, even, thin slices. You don't want to slice it too thick. Uh, it'll be a little, a, little, a little chewy. And if you look, we have a good smoke ring. Okay, I always stack the slices on top of each other. Just keeps it looking nice and even. Okay. And the beauty of this being cooked with that reverse sear is 
It's a beautiful medium rare. We've got a nice smoke ring, a good crust with that sear, but that looks fantastic. Slice a little more here. I'll cut this piece right here, I'm gonna eat. So here we go, nice London broil, cooked on the RT680 at 225 degrees, so it had an internal of 125 degrees, took about an hour and 20 minutes. Then we seared it at 500 degrees, about three minutes aside. So, mmm, great flavor, super easy. Pick up a London broil and give it a try.